Okay, now let's do some equipment replacement decisions. And this is, um, here we've got a machine with a book value of 250 um, that has an estimated six year life and a proposal is offered to sell the old machine for 320,000, it's a pretty good deal, and replace it with a new machine, the cost of, the cost of um, 390, but that also has a six year life. The new machine would reduce annual direct labor costs from 75,000 to 61,000. So let's have a keep the column and replace. And then we can just have a diff out here at the end. So the first thing we can do, let's just sort of start here in the middle. Um, if there's a book here, 250, to sell the old machine for 320, so that's if we replace it, we'd have 320,000 coming in. Um, and I'm going to say sell old machine. Okay. And replace it with a new machine that costs 390. Uh, buy a new machine. So 390. Now this would be cash going out. Okay. And it would reduce labor costs from 75000 to 61000 So let's have um, labor costs here. And this would be for six years, right? Yeah, everything's got a six-year life. So we'll take um, 75000 75,000 times 6. Four hundred and fifty thousand. That's how much we'd pay in labor if we kept it. And if we take seventy or sixty one thousand times six is the next one. Three hundred and sixty six thousand on labor. Okay? I think that's it. Right? We don't have anything else that would change. So we don't have any fixed overhead or anything here because, um, you know, it, it's completely irrelevant. It's not relevant to anybody. The only tricky part was that the original book value of the machine. It doesn't matter because it's in the past. Okay, so if we keep it, we're going to be out 450000 Um And if we replace it, we've got 320 coming in. We had to pay 390, and we've got 366 of direct labor. It's 436 as an outflow. So it's still less than the current one. And let's say that if we kept it for another year or so, you know, we'd be saving that difference in um, direct labor costs every year. So based on the numbers, you'd say that you would sell it and the difference would be $14,000. Okay, in favor of, of keeping, the, keeping the old machine. Oh, sorry, sorry. Doing the new one. That's what I get for doing something different, okay? So that's what we did. Okay, now let's look at the next one. The next one, a company is considered replacing an old piece of machinery. Um, which cost 105000 and is 55000 of accumulated depreciation to date. We don't care about any of that. With a new machine that has a purchase price of 83000 The old machine could be sold for fifty six. so we're going to put that right down right away. So we're going to get, a, say, a keep, a keep column. Let's slide this up a little bit. A keep and replace. And then the difference. Okay, so we're going to say um, uh, sell old machine. If we replace it, then we get fifty six thousand three hundred. Okay, now the new machine has a purchase price of eighty three. Buy new. 
new machine that is 83,000 out the door. The old machine can be sold 56. The annual variable production costs associated with the old machine are 8,500 a year for eight years. So let's say variable variable production. And I'll, I'll do this. I'll put a little one here. And that is 8,500. You can't see it. I'm down here in the bottom of the page. 8,500 times 8. Okay. So that's 68,000. And the new machine is 5,000 times 8 years would be 40,000. Okay. So 68,000 is what it would cost us in variable production costs. The new machine is less. That would be 40. So we've got, and that's all we've got, right? 68,000 out. If we replace it, we've got 56,3 minus the 83 minus 40. That gives us 66,700. So our difference then is $3,300. No, $1,300. $1,300. In favor again of replacing the machine, okay? And these variable production costs, that's where, where you know, you usually have the difference because the newer machine is just, um, you know, it doesn't have the maintenance the old machine does. Okay.